<laughs> Alright guys, you guys have it. Today I'm going to finally film my sneaker collection to start the year of 2021. Let's get it. good everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel here at Rafi Collects. I hope everyone is having a blessed and healthy day today. In today's video, you guys asked for it. You guys wanted this, so this is going to be my sneaker collection. For the year of 2020, it has been absolutely a crazy year. I think I copped over about, I, I would say about 40 pairs of sneakers. And then I felt like in my collection, I feel like I need to wear every single sneaker in my collection. I think that's what my problem was. I was not wearing any of my sneakers. Going towards the end of 2020, I end up getting rid, rid of pretty much 85% of my collection. And then we cut it down to about, about 25 plus, I believe. But anyways, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell button below to be notified when all my videos do go up so you guys don't miss any videos that do come out once I post. But like I said, let's go ahead and get into it. They're not in a specific order, um, but I definitely wanted to get this video out for you guys so you guys see what my collection is going to look like the beginning of 2021. And then I'll give you guys an updated video at the end of this year to see how my collection has grown. So the very first shoe in my collection is the Travis Scott 4. I got this at the Sneak City in Seattle. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, make sure you guys go check it out. This is not worn yet because I just got it, you know, raining in the Pacific. Pacific Northwest in Washington State so um, I'm definitely gonna bring these out in probably uh, springtime maybe but like I said Travis Scott 4 to begin the sneaker collection I'm going to the next sneaker right here is the Yeezy 350 V2 triple whites man let me tell you guys something before you guys any of you guys say I do wear my sneakers as you guys can see it's yellowing and it's just completely dirty I think I this shoe honestly been through like ups and downs but man it's still holding up pretty well 350 v2 triple whites um, definitely a really good to go shoe that I definitely wear on the daily with the next sneaker as you guys can see is a Nike dunk not a SB this is going to be the S Piece. So this is the, one of the Nike dunks that actually released the beginning of 2020 um, Started off with like the dunks coming out with the Syracuse's and the Kentucky's and honestly I was really blessed to get this for a really good price. I got this for $220 when they first released now they're got like five to six hundred dollars So I wear these heavily um, during the summer. I wore these almost every single day So as you guys can see the Kentucky dunk lows the next shoe up is going to be, be the Kyrie lows i believe it's the Kyrie 2 lows um, if i'm not understood but as you guys can see if you guys are familiar with the plankton right there this is going to be the spongebob collab with nike uh, they came out with all types of characters sandy uh, spongebob mr krabs uh, you know uh, patrick sandy and every all those type of characters squidward and this is the um, mr crab joints i believe is this the yeah this is is the Mr. Crab joints right here as you guys can see next shoe up one of my favorite Jordan ones in my collection is the woman exclusive Jordan 1 satin toe uh, black bread toe I think this is the colorway if I'm not mistaken this is the woman so this is a nine and a half to my size size eight men's the satin man that satin cut that satin joint in the back is just really really nice I think the resale value went up a bit on these uh, but the material is definitely cool but as you guys can see starting off with my Jordan ones the Jordan one bread toes black toes whatever you guys want to call this in the satin uh, joints right here so another dunk this was a recent pickup that I actually picked this up a little bit uh, late in the year of last year is the dunk low pine greens off white definitely one of my favorite dunks in my collection but I think the university red off whites definitely uh, are one of my favorites over these um, this is the pine green colorway they came out with the university red and as well as the Michigan colorway next on the list I think this is probably my favorite Yeezy of all time the Yeezy boost 350 v2 in the beluga colorway 1.0s the very first 350 v2 colorway that ever came out um, I'm hoping they re retro this year we'll see what happens but man hey let me tell you guys about this shoe the best Yeezy of all time hands down no cap another Jordan 1 on the list is the mocha Jordan 1's I was really lucky to get these for retail this is probably a lot of people's top fives I definitely would put this in my top five in my opinion because obviously you know it resembles you know kind of reminds a lot of people of that 
Travis Scott Botox in the back, as you guys can see, kind of gives you that suede brown look right there. But overall, really dope shoe. Really blessed to get this for retail. Just worn them once so far, but definitely going to be a lot of wear next uh, this year for sure. As you guys can see, this is the Alpha Bounce. I think this is the very first colorway that Adidas came out with the Alpha Bounces. I'm not mistaken. I remember the hype when these first came out was honestly really, really hype. Only got one pair of these. Very, very comfortable shoe. The Alpha Bounces, definitely one of my favorites in my collection. So so this is probably a lot of people's favorite last year was the restock of the 350 v2 in the bread colorway that released i believe it was november man of last year but this is probably one of the most hype sneakers that came out last year of 2020 in my opinion definitely really blessed that i actually got this on manual cop hashtag manual gang in the chat uh shout out to all my stream the people pull up on my stream that day definitely a dope shoe recommend this i heard a lot of people hasn't received their pair so hey if you guys are one of them let me know in the comments down below but man this is gonna get a lot of wear this fall for sure this is one of my favorite shoes of last year are the union black nor nor is that the black nor the black colorway the unions so i had to pay resale on this joint so i mean it is what it is i feel like resale is going to go up um this year in my opinion as you guys can see i unstitched the tongue so i do wear these this is i wore these a, a handful of times already definitely a really really comfortable shoe um but yeah union jordan fours i don't know if a lot of you guys know this shoe but the air tech challenge 2 this released i believe retroed in 2014 and i think it just came out a couple years back definitely recommend if you're trying to play tennis because originally this is a tennis shoe uh shout out to my boy brand flax that actually recommended this shoe right here because he definitely uh got me on to this shoe for sure next on the list is another dunk that released last year of 2020 the nike dunk low sp in the university red colorway i apologize if any of these shoes are not focusing but you guys know what this is a lot of dunks coming out this month of january i'm really excited about it as you guys can see the nike dunk low university red Red, St. John's, whatever you guys want to call it. This was sneaker of the year of 2020, in my opinion. This was, was pretty much a lot of people's um, number one, in my opinion. Uh, so, as you guys can see, the off white four in the sale colorway in the woman exclusive sizing, extended sizes. Definitely paid resale for this. I paid a really good price. Definitely worn them. I think I wore these twice already. So, man, definitely have to have this in the collection. Another shoe that a lot of people are probably not going to care about, but honestly, this is my favorite. I call these my slides just because, you know what I mean? So boom, as you guys can see, is the Vans Skate High, just in the black and white colorway, just your old school high top Vans. I mean, honestly, who doesn't have a pair of Vans in their collection? Because I do. I have like six of them and I wear them heavily. I think I got one more pair of Vans in my collection that I am going to share with you guys. But man, Skate Highs, I'll go ahead and share with you guys right now. The second Vans I have that I'm going to share with you guys because the rest are probably like downstairs or something. The all white joints. Uh, low top just my two go shoes that I've been wearing during the summer like I wore these like almost every single day During summer as you guys can see I wear my shoes. I'm telling you guys off-white Jordan 5 in that black colorway Definitely honestly, I beat these to the ground. I need a, I need a new pair You can't really tell because obviously it already comes yellow when they uh, when you get them brand new But man the creasing on these are really really bad, but man off-white Jordan 5s. I, I almost forgot these came out last year, uh, but they came out with the sale colorway and I have the black colorway in my collection. I am not copying the sale colorway. I'm not a big fan of that yellow piss yellow, but man, this shoe probably one of my best my best sneakers in my collection going back to the old school retros the jordan 11 2009 space jams one of my favorite jordans in my collection hands down just because you know how oh, look at that 23 in the back 2009 space jams they are very yellow there is a slight separation into the sole and the shoe but it is what it is these 09s are just just a grail in my opinion will never leave my collection ever other off-white dunk low this is the university red colorway they are coming out this month with a, a similar colorway called the u n l v colorway i got it right this time this is probably my second custom i've ever done ever so this is the jordan one lows um in the red colorway i would say red red blood line whatever you guys want to call it but i did custom as you guys can see the swoosh is black so it is the chicago inspired colorway originally the shoe looks like this 
but then I end up customizing it to the Chicago colorway. If you guys want to see a full video of me customizing this shoe, basically you guys go check it out. Going on to the next is another Dunk Low, the Syracuse colorway. One of my favorite shoes of last year of 2020. I definitely worn these heavily. I was glad that I caught this for $240 on Go, and then now they're going for like five to six hundred dollars now on Go and StockX. So very blessed. I need another pair because I've worn these def uh, a whole lot. So if you guys seen my um earlier review as you guys know i have the jordan one trophy rooms pretty early so if you guys want to see a full review of that sneaker make sure you guys go check out my channel really excited i'm not sure when the release date will be but it's saying all-star weekend but since the all-star weekend is getting pushed because the nba kind of started a little bit late i'm not sure when that will be but like i said man make sure you guys go check out my channel for an early look on these trophy rooms jordan one honestly this is going to be a lot of people's grails in the next couple years just 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 wait this next shoe i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this was the recent uh yeezy 350 v2 santopes i think this was the last 350 they ever dropped last year before the year ended um i haven't worn these because i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this just yet this needs to leave my collection because i don't think i'll ever wear these the very last shoe in my collection that i'm going to show you guys is the another the other colorway of the union for guavas a lot of people's favorite this was the union exclusive um that actually released last year out of the black and guava colorway in my opinion the black is my favorite but i had to have both man this is definitely going to be a really good spring and summer shoe in my opinion so i'll definitely break these out during the spring so as you guys can see the guava union for colorway boom 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 bang let me know so that is pretty much it for the video of my entire sneaker collection i know this was kind of a longer video than usual but you guys requested this and i am going to deliver so hey make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are new here please consider subscribing to the channel i will have an updated video by the end of this year of how my sneaker collection will be uh by the end of 2021 so hey if you guys want to continue and join me into this journey uh, with my sneaker collection make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit the like button hit the like button because honestly it goes a long way i appreciate the love and support guys like always guys stay blessed stay healthy make sure you guys wear your mask this is rapid collects catch you guys on the next video